Hi everybody. The other day I was doing a blog post on Power BI Report Server and I realized the vast majority of people haven't actually seen what the Power BI Report Server looks like. So I thought I would do a first look at it. Now you can see my screen. This is a standard um, Power BI Report Server with Configuration Manager installed on it. And it looks exactly like an SSRS uh, reporting point does. So let's drill into it. Again, looking at this, this looks exactly like the SSRS. So it's really making you wonder, what's the difference? So in that blog post, I showed you warranty information reporting and how I installed it on the Power BI report server. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see that we worked right out of the box just as I expected it to. So I'll drill into it, and you'll quickly notice that there are two headings, one for Power BI reports and a second one for paginated reports. Now, paginated reports are the SSRS reports, and Power BI reports are obviously the Power BI reports. So because I, uh, I'm going to save the Power BI reports for you for just a minute, and I'm going to just show you the, the paginated reports. So this is a standard SSRS report. I'm just going to run this one. I'm going to pick my uh, collection. I'm going to view the report. And I'm going to hide the parameters. And you notice this looks exactly like you would expect it to uh, for an SSRS uh, report. So I saved the best for last deliberately because I wanted to show you what the Power BI uh, reports look like. So in the Power BI reports, I'm going to start off on the home page for all this thing. You'll notice that there are the tabs along the bottom where you can go from one report to the next. And if you pick one of the options, you can drill through on it and it will take you from one report to the next report. So this is very similar to how the Power BI reports worked in, in Power BI Desktop. It's just in a web interface, so you no longer have to install Power BI uh, Desktop on your manager's desk to see the reports. So we can click view on the details and you notice that they're behaving exactly like they would on the Power BI desktop. The only difference here is you can't actually modify the reports on the fly. If you want to do that, you need to install Power BI desktop and then you can modify the reports from that perspective. So before I let you go, there's one last thing I wanna show you quickly. And that is, if you bring up your Config Man console, you'll notice that you still have your reports node and your subscriptions, but there's a new node in here called Power BI. And you'll notice that I've installed two reports, uh, one for software updates and one for warranty information reporting. And again, just like in the console, you can run the reports. But with Power BI, you have to run them in the web interface. Now, all of you, probably know I prefer running all the reports in the web interface that are actually run a little bit faster um, just because you don't have the overhead of the console in there but if I was to run this report it's just going to run the report and take you to that page and you can see the home page and we can go off and say oh show me all the Dells in here and we can drill through on computer and say, hey, show me all the ones with this particular model, or what's the warranty on this particular computer? So it behaves really, really nicely. So anyways, that's the first look at uh, Power BI Report Server for SCCM. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Talk to you later.